guys, it's Stevie Novoa, and I am bringing you a revised version of the cigar box. Um, I'm just going to give you a little bit more instruction on how to do it so you can do it on your own. And um, we're going to start off with the template. You only need three pieces for the template. You're going to use the cigar box uh, top and bottom, which is going to be eight inches down, eight and a half inches across. You're going to cut two of this, of this one, okay? Let me take these apart so you can see these. Okay, the next piece you're going to do, it's going to be uh, seven and a half inches across, one inch down. These are going to be your right and left sides, top and bottom. And then your last piece is going to be eight and a half inches long, one inch down. You're going to cut, f you're going to cut four of these. This is going to be the the top of the box is front and back, and the bottom of the box is front and back. You're going to cut two with holes and two without the holes, okay? So it'll be a total of four, and um, we're going to kind of go through that as well. So uh, let me get my foam ready, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I know this is hard to see because my camera can only get so much, but I've got, went ahead and I've traced out my um, pattern onto my foam board, and I just cut it down so you, I could fit it into the camera. The foam board that comes from the dollar store, I'm not exactly sure the size of it, but it's the big piece of foam board. Um, so anyway, you can see I did the two top and bottom pieces. I did the four. I did two with holes and two without, so there's the four piece. And then I did um, this little one, the left and right sides of the top and the bottom. Again, that's also going to be cut four times. And there's these two. And then there's that makes four. Okay? So I'm going to use my, um, I've got a, um, a cutting mat I'm going to use, and I'm going to use this as well, it's a rotary cutter, um, and that's just to get all my lines and cut, cut this out. So I'm going to cut it down, and then I'm going to bring it to you again, and then we'll just continue on making our box, okay? So now that I'm done with cutting all my pieces out, I'm going to set my template aside. I won't need this any longer. Um, I like to try to put all my pieces together, and that's why I, I title them. You don't have to. This is just the way I do it. So this will be all my bottom pieces. And then this side will be all my top pieces. Okay, so now that we've got that all taken care of, the next thing we need to do is we need to poke holes in the two binding sides that we have. So I'm just going to take a regular hole punch. You can also use these um, to 3D or pop up your um, artwork as well. Um, on the tops of your boxes, or so I'm gonna save those. I'm gonna put those aside because I will probably use our top, our top back binding. Keep your hole punch uh, handy because you're gonna need this throughout the rest of, of the project, um, and that's just to repunch our holes as we attach papers. So you want to make sure that you uh, keep this handy. I'm just gonna put it right handy here. For me. Okay, and then the next thing we're going to do is our paper. So I'm going to go ahead and set this aside, and I'm going to, you know what, um, I can see right here, there's a little bit, I'm going to cut that, I'm just going to use my scissors and cut that little piece off there. Okay, so let me go get my paper. Okay, so and for this right project, back. I'm going to use the Circus Paper by Graphic 45. This is a double-sided paper. You'll need four sheets to complete this project. You'll need four 12 by 12 sheets of paper. Okay? So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to work on the top part first. 
So I'm going to move my bottom pieces all aside. And I know that I want my top piece to have the uh, circus title in it. So I'm just going to line it up. And find a pencil to trace it out. My, I, I just bought pencils, but none of them are sharpened. Okay, here we go. Okay, then we're just going to trace this out. Okay. Um, and then I'm just going to do the rest of my pieces. Now, for me, it doesn't matter how my pieces lay because I'm actually going to use, the sides are all going to look like this. So for me, it the placement of these doesn't Okay, and we're going to do the same thing with the bottom pieces. So I'm going to pull those back over here. But this time I'm going to take the opposite side of paper. I want this to be the inside of my box. Now that all our pieces are cut out, I'm going to put all of the bottom of the box pieces aside again, like I did earlier. And we'll work on this top first, and then the bottom, and then the top, and then the bottom. It just works easier that way for me. Okay? So go ahead and get your Mod Podge. Oh, sorry. Get my get your Mod Podge out, and you're going to need your paintbrush. And I also like to cover cover my work area because I am very messy. So let me get a piece of paper. Okay, I'm going to bring out my pieces again. I like to start with my top because I know that I want the circus uh, logo on the front of my, of my, uh, on the top of my box. So that's generally why I like to work on the top first. So the first thing we're going to need to do, oh, hang on, I can't get my, First thing you're going to need to do uh, to prepare this is you're going to peel off the paper. Make sure that when you're at the dollar store that you get the white foam board. If you get the black foam board, it does not the paper doesn't peel off very very friendly. Um, and then you end up gluing your paper on top of the black anyway because you can't get it off and then the black ends up coming off when you put the Mod Podge on. It's just a nightmare. I mean, if you want it, if you want to try it, go for it, but I definitely recommend getting a white foam board. Okay, now we're going to just uh, modge podge away.
similar. Now we're going to do exactly the same thing as we did to the top to the bottom. Okay, we're going to peel off the, the foam paper backing. And I want the inside of my box to all be the same, so everything will be this. Okay, we're going to pull our top pieces back out, and they should be pretty much dry. Now, the first thing I like to do is just go around and make sure all the edges are trimmed down. See how that one's got an edge on it? Trimmed. We're now going to complete the paper attaching process. So we're going to take the second design paper because I want my inside of my box. I know this is the outside. Oops, sorry. I know this is the outside of my box. I want the inside of my box to look like this. So we're going to prep this paper.
Now you can go ahead and either cut out your bottom pieces, which is what I'm going to go ahead and do, or you can go ahead and attach. It really is up to you. For the sake of not having to do this a million times, I'm going to go ahead and cut. get to the Mod Podge stage again and this will be the last time for the top and bottom and then we can assemble the box which is yay exciting. So we're going to get back at our paintbrush. We've already trimmed all our edges so we can just go ahead and get, get started right away. So first thing you're going to do is peel off that top paper. That top paper is really really thin and it will do nothing good for your piece. It ends up falling off when you paint it. Uh, it comes right off when you hot glue stuff on it. So it's just easier if you peel that light sheet of paper off and then put a heavier duty or one on top, like which is what I'm doing with the graphic board. Okay, here we are at the binding piece. You're going to need to punch, hole punch this before uh, attaching the other paper on. Okay, and then we're going to continue on with peeling the paper off. Mod Podge, starting with a little bit in between each of our hole punches. We're going to set this aside to dry. We're going to pull back our top pieces. And I've just got Mod Podge everywhere. Okay, 
Okay, first things first, like usual, peel off the paper. Again, same thing with the, I think this is the, yeah, back binding. We're going to punch each of these holes out with our hole punch. Okay, now you are done with your hole punch for now. Keep it handy because we're going to have to do one more hole punching um, after our current paper we're attaching dries. Okay, so we're going to peel off the paper. Set it aside to dry. Okay, so we are, we're pretty much done with the Mod Podge. You might have to do a few touch-ups. Um, you can go ahead and look through your pieces right now to make sure if you need to do touch-ups. I'm not going to worry about it too much right now. Because um, the hot glue is also going to help keep your paper together to your foam. So let me go brush my brush. Okay, so by now, if you turned on your hot glue gun when I um, cued you, your hot glue gun should be all ready to go. I just got to move my scraps out of the way real quick so I can get to my... Okay. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and uh, put the top, bring all your top pieces back out. Before we hot glue though, you know, I'm looking at it, I can already see, I'm going to need to trim mine. I've got lots of edges here that need to be trimmed off, so. I'm going to trim all the edges, make sure everything's nice and clean. We need to make our last hole punches for the binding. So we're going to do that real quick. And then we're ready to go. We're ready to put this together.